Hello children today i am reading a story from Aesop tales it's about a mouse timmy willy please uh, excuse me this uh, background noise please bear with me because of this uh, festive season all this uh, cracker sound and all that is there uh, excuse me for that so this story is about a mouse johnny town mouse was born in a cupboard timmy willy was born in a garden timmy willy was a little country mouse who went to town by mistake in a hamper the gardener sent vegetables to town once a week by carrier he packed them in a big hamper the gardener left the hamper by the garden gate so that the carrier could pick it up when he passed Timmy Willy crept in through a hole in the wicker work and after eating some peas Timmy Willy fell fast asleep He awoke in a fright while the hamper was being lifted into the carrier's cart then there was a jolting and a clattering of horses feet other packages were thrown in for miles and miles jolt 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 and Timmy Willy trembled amongst the jumbled up vegetables At last the cart stopped at a house where the hamper was taken out carried in and set down the cook gave the carrier six pence the back door banged and the cart rumbled away but there was no quiet there seemed to be hundreds of carts passing dogs barked boys whistled in the street the cook laughed the parlor maid ran up and down stairs and a canary sang like a team engine timmy willy who had lived all his life in a garden was almost frightened to death presently the cook opened the hamper and began to unpack the vegetables out sprang the terrified timmy willy up jumped the cook on a chair exclaiming a mouse a mouse call the cat fetch me the poker sara timmy willy did not wait for sara with the poker he rushed along the skirting board till he came to a little hole and in he popped he dropped half a foot and crashed into the middle of a mouse dinner party breaking three glasses who in the world is this inquired johnny town mouse but after the first exclamation of surprise he instantly recovered his manners with the utmost politeness he introduced timmy willy to nine other mice all with long tails and white neck ties Timmy Willy's own tail was insignificant. Johnny Town Mouse and his friends noticed it, but they were too well bred to make personal remarks. Only one of them asked Timmy Willy if he had ever been in a trap. The dinner was of eight courses, not much of anything, but truly elegant. All the dishes were unknown to Timmy Willy, who would have been a little afraid of tasting them. only he was very hungry and very anxious to behave with company manners the continual noise upstairs made him so nervous that he dropped a plate never mind they don't belong to us said johnny why don't those youngsters come back with the dessert it should be explained that two young mice who were waiting on the others went skir- skirmishing upstairs to the kitchen between courses several times they had come tumbling in squeaking and laughing Timmy Willy learnt with horror that they were being chased by the cat. His appetite failed. He felt faint. Try some jelly, said Johnny Town Mouse. No, would you rather go to bed? I will show you a most comfortable sofa pillow. The sofa uh, sofa pillow had a hole in it. Johnny Town Mouse quite honestly recommended it as the best bed, kept exclusively for visitors. But The sofa smelt of cat. Timmy Willy preferred to spend a miserable night under the fender. It was just the same next day. An excellent breakfast was provided for mice accustomed to eat bacon, but Timmy Willy had been reared on roots and salad. Johnny Town Mouse and his friends racketed about under the floors and came boldly out all over the house in the evening. One particularly loud crash had been caused by Sara tumbling downstairs with the tea tray. 
there were crumbs and sugar and smears of jam to be collected in spite of the cat timmy willy longed to be at home in his peaceful nest in a sunny bank the food dis- disagreed with him the noise prevented him from sleeping in a few days he grew so thin that johnny town mouse noticed it and questioned him he listened to timmy willy's story and inquired about the garden it sounds rather a dull place what do you do when it rains when it rains i sit in my little sandy burrow and shell corn and seeds from my autumn store i peep out at the throstles and blackbirds on the lawn and my friend cock robin and when the sun comes out again you should see my garden and the flowers roses and pinks and pansies no noise except the birds and bees and the lambs in the meadows there goes that a cat again exclaimed johnny town mouse when they had taken refuge in the coal cellar he resumed the conversation i confess i am a little disappointed we have endeavored to entertain you timothy william oh yes yes you have been most kind but i do feel so ill said timmy willy it may be that your teeth and digestion are unaccustomed to our food perhaps it might be wiser for you to return in the hamper oh oh cried timmy willy why of course for the matter of that we could have sent you back last week said johnny rather huffily did you not know that the hamper goes back empty on saturdays so timmy willy said goodbye to his new friends and hid in the hamper with a crumb of cake and a withered cabbage leaf and after much jolting he was set down safely in his own garden sometimes on saturdays he went to look at the hamper lying by the gate but he knew better than to get in again and nobody got out though johnny town mouse had half promised a visit the winter passed the sun came out again timmy willy sat by his burrow warming his little fur coat and sniffing the smell of violets and spring grass he had nearly forgotten his visit to town when up the sandy path all spick and span with a brown leather bag came johnny town mouse timmy willy received him with open arms you have come at the best of all the year we will have herb pudding and sit in the sun hmm it is a little damp said johnny town mouse who was carrying his tail under his arm out of the mud what is that fearful noise he started violently that said timmy willy that is only a cow i will beg a little milk they are quite harmless unless they happen to lie down upon you how are all our friends johnny's account was rather middling he explained why he was paying his visit so early in the season the fam family had gone to the seaside for easter the cook was doing spring cleaning on board wages with particular instructions to clear out the mice there were four kittens and the cat had killed the canary they say we did it but i know better said johnny town mouse whatever is that fearful racket that is only the lawn mower i will fetch some of the grass clippings presently to make your bed i am sure you had better settle in the country johnny hmm we shall see by tuesday week the hamper is stopped while they are at the seaside i am sure you will never want to live in town again said timmy willy but he did he went back in the very next hamper of vegetables he said it was too quiet one place suits one person another place suits another person so children what do you say where do you want to live the place where you are living now or you want to go live at some other place which is entirely different from where you are living so children this was the story and how did you like it so let's please share your comments in my facebook page story time with narini and i will meet you all next time till then bye bye take care